huh? Bravo! Oh, come on, get off that. Oh. You went through that last night. Oh, well, honey, you know, I can't get over it. Last night was one of the best shows you've ever given. Sweetheart, last night was just another show in the same old club. Oh, is that so? I suppose you get a standing ovation every night. And you know, darling, what? Jose was the first one to stand up. No kidding. Yes. I guess it was his way of saying thank you for inviting him to the club. Oh, honey, you're always running yourself down. I'm sure he stood up because he thought you were just as great as everybody else there thought you were. Hi, Jose. Hello. Disturbing you, but I had to come by and thank you for taking me to the wonderful Copa Club. That was the happiest birthday I ever had. Oh, you really enjoyed it, huh? Oh, are you kidding? Enjoyed it. It was the most fantastic night in my whole life. Oh, sit down, Jose. Oh, thank you. You like the show, huh? Yes. Well, what'd you like best about it? Did you like when, when I did the uh, the bus trip with the fellow had the flat tire and no jack? No. Did you like the part where I uh, told about the parrot that that, that sings and? No. <laughs> I bet I know. You you liked the one I did the Italian on the telephone, you know, hots in the boots. No. <laughs> well, it's just possible he liked your singing best. You liked my singing best, huh? No. <laughs> well, what did you like about me? The girl top dancer. <laughs> I thought you said he was the first to stand up. He was. I did. It was amazing. I stood up to go to the restroom. <laughs> and everybody else stood up too. And they applauded. I bet you told them it was my birthday. Oh, sure. Sure. That's great. I knocked my brains out to do an extra special show for your birthday, and you like best about me, the girl tap dancer. Mr. William. You always like the person you're in love with. Oh, Jose, last night was the first time you ever saw her. You couldn't really be in love with her. I will love her until the end of time. <laughs> and even after that. <laughs> well, that sounds uh, fairly permanent. <laughs> you know what? We are going to get married. And I will build a big house for her with the roses all around. And we would have a big, big family together. Yeah, when's all this gonna happen? When you introduce me to her. <laughs> Susie, we'll put that number right in the middle of the second production. What about that? Oh, golly, Mr. Williams, thanks. Yeah. Well, I better practice on it. it oh, don't no, so work too hard now. Take it easy. You know what they say? All work and no play. I mean, you're still a young girl. You oh, but... Think about having fun, too. Do you have a boyfriend? Well, sort of, not really. Oh. You know what you need? You need a handsome, young, charming prince to rush in and sweep you off your feet. But they don't hardly make them kind anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling that that charming prince will be along soon. <laughs> I say he'll be along soon. <laughs> Jose! <laughs> Get ready to be swept off your feet. It's a good friend of mine. He's a big admirer of yours. Jose, uh, come over and meet Susie. Huh? <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> He's silly. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on. He's a little bit shy. Well, I can help. Hi, I'm Susie Harper. You certainly are. <laughs> What's your name? Come on, Jose. Speak up. My name is Jose Man. <laughs> that is for you. That is a rose. <laughs> that is something to put it in. Why, I'm thoughtful. That's all right. I can find someplace else to put my toothbrush. <laughs> Jose, uh, you, you don't have to speak up anymore. <laughs> Relax. Well, I, I think I can uh, leave you two together now. I think I'll leave you two together too. Wait a minute. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just going out to grab a sandwich. I'll go with you. What do you want to go with me for? I'll watch you eat. <laughs> I'll watch me eat. You chew very nice. Okay. Well, I was about to have a sandwich. Would you care to share it with me? <clears throat> Who? Come on. 
tuna fish? I adore tuna fish. <laughs> Mr. William? Yeah? You can go now. <laughs> Surprise, huh? Well, honey, you look great. Come on, let's stand up and take a good look at you. Come on. Oh, boy, you're as pretty as ever. Well, it's so good to see you, Tommy. Well, now, what kind of a greeting is that, huh? Come on. <laughs> oh, Tommy, put me down. Ah, Sosa, your tuna fish is getting cold. <laughs> well, Jose, Mr. Williams, I'd like you to meet Mr. Tom Bradley. How are you, Mr. Bradley? How do you do, sir? Very nice to meet you, Mr. Jose. Well, Tom's an old friend of mine. Well, what in the world brings you to New York? Oh, when I read you were on the same bill with Danny Williams at the Copa Club, I said, well, now is the time to jump right into a bus and get right down here and say congratulations. And, uh, and hello. So, hello. Well, that's strange. When I left St. Louis, you didn't even bother to say goodbye. Well, Susie, you know how I, I have about goodbyes. So, uh, you're from Susie's hometown, eh, son? Oh, yes, sir. We, we practically grew up together. I can't tell you what a thrill it is, sir, to, uh, to meet you. I mean, uh, I, I don't want to sound corny or anything like that, but you're my favorite number one entertainer. Thank you, thank you. Maybe you'd like to catch the show while you're in town. Unless you have to go home real soon. <laughs> no, I, I may not go at all if, uh, if everything works out all right. A plane is the fastest. <laughs> what do you mean, if everything works out all right? Well, no, what I mean is if I, if I latch onto a job or something. Oh, you're looking for a job? Well, yes, sir. What do you do? Well, Tommy's a very good pianist. He was in the band where I worked back home. Oh. Well, you should hear him sometime. He's just great. Oh, now, Susie, just one second. Mr. Williams is going to think that I came here for an audition. It's not like that at all, sir. Believe me, I, uh, I just came here to see Susie. Yeah. I'm sure you did. Yo, well, honey, look, are you, uh, you going to show me around town or something like that? I mean, uh, like they say on television, I'm a stranger in these here parts. So, come on. Well, we were rehearsing, and I can't oh, leave. Oh, I, I guess we can call it a day, Susie. Oh, thanks, Mr. Williams, very much. Very nice to meet you. Come on, Susie, let's go. Well, I have to change my clothes. Oh, all right. Well, again, <laughs> meeting you. Goodbye, Mr. Jose. Susie, you... Oh. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Jose. That's all right, Mr. Wooden. I still got a place for my toothbrush. <laughs> Look, honey, it's just that that Bradley kid is not for Susie. He's just using her. How can you be so sure he's using her? Oh, honey, it's as obvious as a nose on my face, and nothing could be more obvious than that. <laughs> you can see right through the guy. He says to me, it's a big thrill meeting you, Mr. Williams. Oh, you're my number one favorite entertainer. Oh, what a line. Well, maybe you are his favorite. Listen, Clancy, the only favorite he's got is himself. This guy is a big phony. He's merely using that kid. I, I could tell, honey. He says, I read in the paper where you're on the same bill with Danny Williams at the Copa Club. So I thought to myself, Tommy, old boy, jump into a bus and go up there and congratulate her and, and say hello. All of a sudden, he wants to say hello. The last time he saw her, he didn't even say goodbye. Oh, now he's saying hello. Oh, what a phony. He's just using that kid to get to me. I know it. He wants an audition. He figures he'll get a break. And if he ever does get that break, it's goodbye, Susie. No hello. Oh, boy, that sounds like the plot to a B-movie. <laughs> well, you're no help at all. Why don't you simmer down? I'll go fix you a cup of coffee, hmm? Don't you care that Jose is eating his heart out? Boy, women. Hello, Mr. Williams. What are you so happy about? You are looking at a changed man. Oh, hooray for you. Tell the change man I'm having some coffee. So, William, I came here to tell you I have made the most happiest decision in my entire life. What's that? I am true with girls. <laughs> what? I am only going to think of the finer things in life. I am true with girls. Hello, Jose. I want my Susie. <laughs> I thought you said you were through with girls. I was until I saw one. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go away. I know what I will do. I will become a lighthouse keeper. I will go to a lonely lighthouse on a lonely island in a lonely sea. Mr. and Mr. William, do me a favor. What? Visit me. It's lonely out there. <laughs> 
Look, Orson, don't make it sound like it's the end of the world, huh? Wish it was the end of the world. Oh, Jose, you don't really mean that. Yes, I do. Do you know what I was going to do this morning? I was going to jump into the furnace. What? Thank goodness they don't allow cooking in the basement. <laughs> Yeah, what, what are you giving up so soon? You know, you, you haven't lost her yet. Uh, he has won. He has won, Mr. William. And you know the old saying, to the winner belongs all the spoiled things. Oh. <laughs> Look, Jose, I, I still think you've got a chance. No, I, I have no chance against him. He's so, he's so smooth. Yeah, too smooth. So what could I do against him? Well, you don't have to be like him. I mean, get a technique of your own. Hey, that's right. That's a good idea. You bet. I will get a technique of my own. Good. But they're very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what Mrs. Williams means is, uh, you get a style of your own. Like this Bradley fella, he's smooth, like you say. He's a fast talker, he's a sharpie. Well, you go just the opposite. You play it the other way. That's right. You be courtly and gallant. Yeah. You know, say something sweet and romantic to her. That's right. Like what? Well, like anything. Anything pretty out of a book. Like, like something like, well... Beloved, if the pupil of my eye should ever stray from thee, I would remove it. <laughs> Beloved... If the pupil of my eye should ever stray from thee, I will remove it. <laughs> isn't, uh, isn't that beautiful? That's very painful. <laughs> you should learn some things like that. I mean, you know, just a few sweet words to a girl and you melt her heart. Never going to be close enough to Susie to melt her heart. Well, ask her for a date. I'm afraid to ask her for a date. Oh, isn't this great? Isn't this great? He's madly in love with the girl, but he's afraid to ask her for a date. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. Certainly not. Here, tell you what. Make believe Kathy is Susie. Now, ask her for a date, all right? I'll show you how easy it is. Ask her for a date. <clears throat> Mrs. Susie. What Mrs. Susie? <laughs> she's not married. She's married to you. Right now, she's not married to me. I'm sorry. When did that happen? No! <laughs> like a routine out of Potash and Perlmutter. Will you please pay attention? Come on, Jose. Just ask her for a date. Make believe she's Susie. Forget she's Mrs. Williams. Throw your shoulders back. Head up. Eyes front. Come on, speak up. Don't be afraid. Saucy, I would like a day with whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Saucy, what are you selling? Fresh fish, fresh fish. What's that? You're talking to a girl. Sweet, delicate human being. Take it easy. Just a little assurance, but sweetly ask her. Saucy, you wouldn't go out on a date with me, would you? <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't ask you. Oh, God. <laughs> You're a Latin, for goodness sakes. You are, these are romantic people. Don Juan was one of your boys. Get, get his approach. Bow from the waist. Kiss a few hands. I never kissed a hand in my whole life. <laughs> it's real easy. What? Give me your hand, will you, honey? Look, it's very simple. Oh, Susie, how sweet you look today. You did that very good. <laughs> I got an idea. What? You kiss Susie's hand and tell her it was from me. No. <laughs> you got to do it yourself. Now, come on. Practice. Yeah. Put your hand on it. Come on, Jose. Practice. Practice makes perfect. Good. Oh, I don't know. Well, you want to win Susie, oh, don't you? Yes, very much. Well, then come on and practice. Go ahead. It won't hurt a bit. This is my first time. Could you put on a glove? Well, you... <laughs> Will you stop clowning around? Now, come on, Kathy, put your hand out, please. Jose. Yeah, come on. I do it. Okay. okay. That tastes good. <laughs> Thank you. You've been making chicken salad. <laughs> Why are 
are you clowning around? You know, th this is getting ridiculous. He's hopeless. Now, you count me out. But, honey, don't you want to help him practice? Honey, I've got things to do. Let him practice kissing your hand. But, uh, Kathy! <laughs> what am I going to do with you? It really doesn't matter. I appreciate everything, but it doesn't matter. Why, why should I practice? He's going to be around all the time. Yeah. Sure wish I could get rid of that guy. Be the best thing that could ever happen to Susie. It'd be the best thing that could happen to me, too. Hey, I've got it. Wow. I think I know how to get rid of him. How? Never mind. You just leave it to old Dan Cupid. Now, come on, pay attention. Let's practice. Okay. No, don't kiss me! <laughs> To the toothbrush. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, Good afternoon, sir. Mr. Jose. Mr. Jose. Uh, let's hope it's all right, my, uh, my being here, sir. I mean, a rehearsal and all. Oh, that's all right. I sort of works out uh, perfectly. I was hoping I'd find you here. I thought maybe I could hear you play. You'd like to hear me play? Well, uh, yes. If, uh, if I'm going to recommend you to my agent. You would recommend me to your agent? Well, why not? I mean, if you're as good as Susie keeps saying you are, I'd probably be doing my agent a favor. Well, that's, that's just great. Oh, Mr. Williams, you're wonderful. And you won't regret it. You'll see. Tommy really is good. Well, fine. Well, let's hear it. Go ahead. Well, I have, uh, I wasn't planning on this, of course, but I do happen to have a special arrangement ready, if, if you'd like to hear that. Well, fine. Play it. Okay, I'll go and get it for you. What do you mean, go and get it? You're not going to go all the way to your hotel now. Well, no, no. It's in Susie's dressing room. Oh, that figures. What? Uh, nothing. Go ahead. Go get it. Excuse me, Mr. William, my mm. dear friend that I trust more than anybody in the whole world. <laughs> Could I ask you a question? Yeah, what? Why are you stabbing me in the back? <laughs> Just trust me, will you? Just trust me. I know what I'm doing. But wait a Oh, now I figure it out. You know, he's going to be bad. And then you can say to him when he gets through, you go someplace and practice to Canada. <laughs> Maybe Alaska. Oh, you're very smart. Like I said, just leave it to old Dan Cupid. Maybe you're not so smart, Dan Cupid. What? Well, what? What if he plays good? Please, just leave it to me, will you? Okay, Mr. Williams? Yeah, fine. Go right ahead. Uh, sit down, sit down, Jose. Let's listen to this. Well, you're on, boy. Mm -hmm. How about that, Jose? Wasn't it great? I like Carmen Caballero. <laughs> oh, 
Well, what, what do you think, Mr. Williams? You think your agent would be interested? Interested? Well, I... Bill Brokaw will get you more bookings than you know what to do with. Now, look, son. I want you to take this card to him, and I've written a little note on here for you, and you get right over there and see him. Mr. Williams, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just get over there. Well, honey, you heard what the man said. Well, Tommy, yeah. I'll see you later. Oh, you mean tonight? Oh, well, well honey, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be so busy with, well, with rehearsing and, and arrangements and everything. Oh, I understand. Well, Susie, you know how much this means to me, so... Well, maybe, maybe we better not date for a while, huh? Sure, okay. Oh, Susie, I knew you'd understand. You're great, but I'll make it up later. Believe me, I'll, I'll call you, huh, Susie? Thanks, Mr. Williams. Bye now. Oh, but, Tommy! Excuse me, I'll be right back. That's amazing. It worked out just the way you said it would. Yeah, didn't it? Mr. William, how did you know it would work out like that? I'm clever. Oh, Mr. William, do you know you are a genius? A very smart genius. <laughs> Look, uh, why don't you go console Susie? I'm sure she's looking for a shoulder to cry on. Okay, I'll give it one of my best ones. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mr. Williams? Oh, I, I, uh, where's Susie? I, I forgot. <laughs> forgot what? Well, I forgot to get her phone number. What do you want with her phone number? Well, how can I call her if I don't have her number? Look, kid, you got your audition. Now, why don't you leave her alone? I mean, you used her to get an audition. I gave it to you. Turned out you played well enough to deserve a break. I gave you that, too. Now, why don't you leave her alone? You, you got what you came for. Now, just one second, Mr. Williams. You got this all wrong. I, I have, huh? Well, yes, sir. I only got half of what I came for. I wanted a job, yes. Well, now I can go after the other half. What other half? Now I can ask Susie to marry me. You're gonna ask Susie to marry you? Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Williams, I... I owe it all to you, sir. And I want to thank you. And believe me, I, I, uh... Well, I'll, I'll live up to this break that you've given me, sir. So, thank you very much. And don't be surprised if we name the first kid after you. Hmm? Well, where, where's Susie? Oh. <laughs> hey, genius! Excuse me, Mr. Williams, I, I want to say something to you, but I'm afraid it will hurt your feelings. Go ahead, it won't hurt my feelings. You are a stupid Cupid! <laughs> oh, come on, Jose. Hey, stop being so glum. After all, Susie's not the only girl in the world. She was the only one for me. My whole life is ruined. Stop saying that. Your life isn't ruined. For the first time in my whole life, I fell in love. Now she's going to marry someone else. My life is too ruined. I will never, ever breathe a happy breath again. Hi, Mr. Williams. Hi, Betty. Oh, I just love the new show. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Betty, the check room girl. Now, look, Jose, you mustn't feel too bad. For the first time in my whole life, I am in love again. <laughs> hey.